Hi, this is Mato. And in this video, I will show you the game between Michael Adams and Viktor Lesnitschka. This is the game from World Cup 2015. That was played in Baku. Michael Adams had white pieces and he started with e4. Viktor Lesnitschka played d5, Scandinavian defense. e takes on d5. Queen takes pawn on d5. Knight to c3 attacking the queen. Queen to a5. d4. Knight to f6. Knight to f3. Bishop to f5. Developing the bishop before playing e6. Bishop to d2. e6. Bishop to c4. Bishop to b4. Knight to e5. Knight from b to d7. Knight takes knight. How to recapture? Viktor Lesnitschka recaptured with the knight. Looks like a logical move, doesn't it? There was a game played in Norway in 1993 between Strand and Meyerwald. Meyerwald played with black pieces recaptured with the king and even won the game. Interesting, isn't it? In our game we have knight takes on d7. A3, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, attacking the queen, white has a bishop pair, queen to b6, and both players castled kingside. d5, let's go back, perhaps castling queenside would be better for black. d5. Would not be so effective because of knight to f6. Pawn is pinned. In the game we have castling d5 and now rook from f to d8, lining the rook with white queen. Queen to f3, allowing black to capture the pawn on c2. Knight to f8. What happens if bishop takes on c2? Then d takes on e6, and after pawn takes pawn, queen to g4, threatening checkmate, and also bishop takes on e6. Winning for white. In the game we have knight to f8. White to move. Michael Adams is not defending the pawn. He played rook on f to e1. Bishop takes pawn on c2. D takes on e6, f takes on e6, queen to g3, threatening, check, mate, bishop to g6. Okay, let's have a good look at this position. Who is better? White or black? Black is better, materially. But this is not the whole picture, is it? What else can we see? Black pawn on e6 is very weak. White has a bishop pair. And they're aiming at black king. White pieces are better placed. Which king is safer? White king is safer. So it is safe to say that actually white is better. Do you agree? Okay, the game continued. h4, threatening h5 and checkmate. Queen to c5, defending against pawn push, attacking the bishop. Bishop to a2, queen to e7, rook to e5, rook to d3, attacking the queen. f3, h5, rook from a to e1, white army is fully mobilized. Queen to f7, white to move. What would you do if you had white pieces? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Did you find the best move? The best move is rook takes on e6. 
black to move. Victor captured the bishop on c3. If knight takes on e6, bishop takes knight, and white is winning the queen. So we have rook takes on c3, pawn takes rook, king to h8, rook from 6 to e2, defending the bishop, and bishop is now attacking the queen. Queen to f6, rook to e5, c6, white to move, white, play the move when black resigned. Michael Adams played queen to g5, black resigned. One simple line goes like this. Queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, rook to d8, f4, rook to d2. Perhaps one of the rooks goes to e2, maybe rook from 1 to e2, check, king to f2, rook to d7, f5 attacking the bishop, bishop to f7, bishop takes bishop, rook takes bishop, king to g3, rook to d7, king to h4, what now, rook to d1, g6, king to g8, king takes pawn, I guess we can stop here, black has no hope. What do you think of this game? Did you find this? decisive move. Rook takes on e6. If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.